Saturday Night Fever, alive on stage like you've never experienced it before. Hi, I'm at Cruise Nightclub in Chester to mark the opening of Saturday Night Fever, the acclaimed Bill Kenwright production. I'm talking to Richard Windsor, who is in the role of Tony Monero. Richard, Hi. lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, tell me, you, you're well known for your doctor role in Casualty. Yeah. You've moved from doctor to dancer. That's it. How, how have you found dancing that? Doctor. <laughs> the uh, dancing doctor. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I love, I mean, Casualty is great part of my life, uh, three and a half years, nearly four years, and um, but I was getting to a point where I feel like, you know, I used to be a dancer, so I was dancing with Matthew Bourne for got close to 14 years, I think. Good grief. Yeah, so for a long time. So I got to a point in Casualty, I was like, I kind of yearning to be back on stage, yearning to have that adrenaline, that energy yeah. again, um, and kind of dancing on stage does that for you. So does acting on stage, but also dancing mainly. Uh, and then this show came about because Bill Kenwright is a fan of Casualty, believe it or not, Really? Um, yeah, he's a big fan of Casualty. Did you know that? Bill yeah. Kenwright's a fan of Casualty. He is, he is. And he liked my character in the role, uh, in the show, and he found out that I was a dancer as I was leaving, actually. And he kind of was always wanting to do a brand new version of Session Night Fever. He got the rights from the Stigwood Foundation, contacted me and said, I really want you to do the role. And I wanted to keep it kind of gritty and raw like the film. So this, it's sim different to shows that have gone by. Mm. Uh, and that really attracted me to it, really. And the chance to get back up on stage and dance is a but challenge. This, this is actually a reprise for you, isn't it? Yeah, so we did this about uh, this time last year. It was the first time we did it. We created it last August 2018 uh, with a primarily different cast, actually. Um, apart from myself and about four other people. But all the other leads are all new. Uh, so it brings a real freshness to it, again. Um, a real different creativity. It gives me a lot more to bounce off different energies. It's a Bill Kenwright production, mm. but Dima has done the choreography. Bill Dima has, he? yeah, he so has. So what's, what's he been like to work with? Well, he's great. I mean, he, his special, specialty is um, uh, bringing the kind of classics to, to stage, but he brings his own twist to it. Uh, so he has brilliant knowledge of the iconic stuff and what something like Saturday Night Fever needs to have. And the audience expect to see certain things. So that's all there but it's got a brilliant twist on it. It's got some great energy, different, uh, a different look at some of the movement. And it's also given me, because I'm obviously come from a kind of contemporary classical background yeah. with Matthew Bourne. And I trained in classical ballet, but I also did lots of dance theater and lots of different versions of dance. Uh, so he kind of gave me a bit of a license to flex a lot of that stuff into it. And Tony Monero being this kind of rounded, multifaceted dancer not just yeah. the disco dancer. Yeah. One of the little known facts about Saturday Night Fever, mm. it was inspired by an article by Nick Cohn back in 1976, yep. he wrote for New York That's so why Dad still has the original really? magazine that that was in, yeah. Like, he showed me it. Tell me a little bit about that, because it turned out to be not quite all it seemed to be. Well, it was written um, as a kind of fiction piece, as far as I'm aware, um, and it was, shown first in England, I think, and then it was released in America. Yeah. But it was based, as I understand it, mm. on a British mod, not the That's New York exactly disco it. subculture. Yeah. But then that kind of subculture started to kind of take hold, yeah. and they thought, well, obviously, let's you know, honor that with some sort of film documentation of it, and Saturday Night Fever arose, and the Stigwood Foundation brought over the, the, uh, the, the rights of the Bee Gees music and they asked the Bee Gees, do you have any songs yeah. for this film? They were like, well, we've got these, I don't know, seven, eight, nine songs, are they all right? And they're like, well. Yeah. <laughs> of course, the, the Bee Gees soundtrack was yeah. at one point, and possibly still is, the biggest selling soundtrack to a it film. Is, it is, and it's just wonderful. It's so, honestly, some of the best music to perform to. It's got so much drive, it's got so much passion and power behind it, and the lyrics are really, um, visceral and dark and uh, they're not fluffy lyrics, you know, disco lyrics, they're really kind of dark and gritty. Yeah. And of course, you're, for the first time, you're putting the Bee Gees on stage, or we are. a homage to the Bee Gees. We are, and they are fantastic as <laughs> well, and they are um, singing the kind of soundtrack along with us. Yeah. They drive the story with the actors on stage as, a, as part of the kind of the link up, and then they support the big songs as well, and drive some of the big choreography numbers, which is brilliant. How much energy can audiences expect from this? They probably are going to be as exhausted as I am. At the <laughs> I am in a puddle of sweat and tears by the end of the show, which I love. It gives yeah. me such a joy to give that to the to the audience. But the audience are up on the feet at the end. Yeah. They, without fail, are in the audience in the aisles dancing and loving 
every minute. Yeah. The, to the show is touring, so mm. where are you off to next? Because you've only got about six or seven Something venues like left. Six or seven venues, yeah. So I think, well, it's Chester this week, um, and then it's Ch Coventry, and then Cheltenham, and then we go uh, to Belfast and Aberdeen, so we're taking it, you know, yeah. up and north. So if you're looking from a different area, then feel free to uh, check out yeah. where Richard and the cast of Saturday Night Fever are going to be. Richard, thank you very much indeed for My joining us. Pleasure. It's been lovely to uh, talk to you. So Saturday Night Fever will be running at the Chester Story House from tonight. There are eight performances and it finishes on Saturday night. Don't miss out. This is Mike Souden at Cruise Nightclub in Chester. <laughs>